Hi, in this video we are going to discuss how we can count number of nodes in a linked list, right? So uh, I'll be given a linked list. Say this is my linked list. It contains these nodes one, two, three, four, and five, and this is null, right? So uh, how many nodes does it have? It has one, two, three, four, and five nodes. So I need to return five from here, right? Now say I am given, uh, let's say, uh, check it for another example. Say this is my linked list. 1, 5, 9, 8, 7, 6, 12, 26, right? So this is my list. Now how many nodes does it have? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 nodes. So I should return 8 from here. So this is our task, what we need to do. Now let's discuss how we can do that. Okay, so let's discuss its iterative solution first, right? Say this is my list. It contains these nodes 1, 9, 7 and 12, right? And this is null. So this is my head node, which contains uh, the address of the first node. Okay, so how I can do that? I can iterate over this whole list and maintain a counter. And every time I go to the next node, I can increment my counter to 1, right? Okay, so let's uh, see. Uh, this is my counter. Say it is zero. Now, how I can iterate over this list, right? So I can maintain a temp variable that is pointing to the head node itself. Why temp variable? Because if I iterate with the head uh, uh, head variable itself, basically my list will be lost because address of the head will be lost, right? Okay, so let's maintain a temp variable. So we need to do this. Node star temp is equal to head, right? So it will start pointing to head node, right? And let's take a counter, which is zero. Now what I need to do until I get null, I need to increment uh, count by one every time and do temp is equal to temps next, right? So I need to do this thing while temp is not equal to null. I need to do count is equal to count plus one and temp is equal to temp uh, temps next, right? like this right so now our temp is here and i'll come to this condition i'll check if temp is not equal to null right so temp is not equal to null so we'll get inside our loop and do count is equal to count plus one so count will be one and temp will be temps next right so count is one and temp is e temp will be here this time right Again, we'll go to the loop, check the condition. If temp is not equal to null, then to count is equal to count plus one. So yeah, temp is not null. So to count is equal to count plus one. So it will be two and temp is equal to temps next. So temp will be here this time, right? Again, I'll go to the loop and check if temp is not equal to null. So temp is again not equal to null. And so we need to do to count is equal to count plus one. So change it to three and do temp is equal to temps next. So temp will be here this time, right? Again, go to the loop, check the condition. If temp is not equal to null, then do count is equal to count plus uh, count plus one, right? So yeah, temp is again not equal to null. So do count is equal to count plus one and temp is equal to temps next. So now temp will be here. Now when I go to the loop again and check the condition, if temp is not equal to null, so this condition will uh, falsify, right? So I need to return from here. So this will return to this point, right? Now if we'll see, our count contains four, right? And which is the length of the list effectively because it contains one, two, three, four, four nodes, right? So what I need to do, I simply need to return count from here, which will basically give me the number of nodes, right? Okay. Now let's discuss the time complexity, right? So this is my list. It contains these nodes, right? Okay, so uh, basically it contains four nodes. We know this thing. We have checked it, right? So what we are doing in, uh, like uh, we are iterating over this whole list and every time we are, uh, you know, going over the node, we are, uh, do count is equal to count plus one, right? So what we are doing here, we are iterating over the whole list. We are going at each and every node of the list, right? So uh, if I'll generalize this, if my list has n nodes, right? So uh, at how many uh, nodes I'm visiting, I'm visiting over n nodes itself, right? 
so the time complexity for the iterative solution will be o of n right order of n okay now let's discuss how we can uh, solve it recursively okay so let's discuss its recursive solution right okay so say this is my list it contain these nodes 1 2 3 4 and 5 right okay so my head node is here right so every time what i need to do i need to pass this list like a uh, keep this node here and pass the remaining list to the function right so now this will be my head node again i need to pass the uh, i need to uh, you know remain this node here and pass the remaining list so head will be here this time and so on so uh, once head reach here what i need to do i need uh, now will be returning back right so while returning back what i need to do i just need to add one right you can maintain a counter variable which is zero and you need to uh, you know add one to the counter variable so here it will be one here it will be two here it will be three and here it will be four and here it will be five right okay so let's discuss it in more detail okay uh, say this is my function get count okay and i have my head here right what i'm doing here say this is my list one two three four and five right until i get null i need to call the function get count and pass heads next inside it right uh, this is next right so what i'm doing here uh, head was uh, initially here right so now i'm again uh, i have again called the function uh, and passed heads next inside it so in the next iteration head will be here like uh, when the function will be called next right now again i'll come here and pass heads next so now head will be this and after that this and so on right now when it will reach the null node it will reach null sorry so what i need to do uh, while it reach null i can say if my head becomes null so what we have discussed we can maintain a count variable but as, uh, as it is recursion so we can simply return zero from here right we don't need to maintain any, any other variable right so it will return zero here right okay so what should it return this five this five should return uh, one to four right by adding one inside it so i can simply do one thing i can do it like this return one plus get count heads next right so now what five will return five will add uh, this is zero and this is one so five will add uh, one to the uh, this value one to zero value and return it to four again what four will do four will again add one inside it and return it to three so it will become two here right uh, sorry it was one here and it was two here so it will become three here we are adding two plus one right so now what it will do it will return this thing and add three plus one so this will become four right and what two will do two will add uh, one inside four and return it to here so now at one we have five right and simply five will be returned right because we have reached our uh, original head node again right so this is how it works okay so let's write code for this okay uh, so this is the code for the iterative solution we have already discussed this though but let's see it again right so basically this is my tamp node which is pointing to head right so this is if this is my list so it is pointing here right and every time uh, till temp is not equal to null we are uh, doing temp is equal to temp next and maintaining a count variable to zero and every time we are uh, doing uh, count is equal to count plus one and temp is equal to temps next right and we have seen that when we'll uh, come out of the list count contains the number of nodes in the list right so we'll simply return count from here okay so uh, i hope this solution is clear right iterative solution is clear now let's see the code for recursive so solution okay uh, so this is the recursive code right so what's happening here this is our base case right like say this is my list one two three four and null right say so this is my list and head is this one right so what's happening here 
it will check if head is equal to null so head is not equal to null then it will return here and it will uh, you know again make a call to heads next so now head will be here right it has made a call here and will again return to the function right again it will check if head is equal to null so it is not the case so it will again make a call here then again go to the function and again come here and check if head is equal to null so head is not equal to null then again make a call and head will be here this time right and now again it will check if head is equal to null so uh, no this is not the case so again it will make a call and head will be here right okay so uh, now it will do uh, now it will uh, if again it will check if head is equal to null so this time head is equal to null then what you need to do it need to go here and return zero right so in the last iteration which was our head this was our head right okay so it has returned zero here okay now uh, what will happen again in the next iteration it is adding one to this zero right and returning back right it is returning back so what I have done I have added one like zero plus one and in the last iteration this was our head right so basically it will return one here so now uh, we have one node say this is one okay now again it will come here and add one to it so it will become one plus one that is two right uh, just a second it will return zero it will return one it will return two yeah okay so this time our head is here okay so uh, again it need to do one thing it need to add one inside it inside this two and add one inside it and it will return three to this okay and in this iteration head is here now what we need to do this is the final step what this one will do this one will add one inside this three like it will do three plus one and it will return back right like it will return this value 3 plus 1 which is the final value right so it will simply return 1 plus 3 that is 4 so 4 will be returned from here and if you can see uh, our list contains four nodes only 1 2 3 and 4 right so uh, this is how we can solve it okay uh, so now let's discuss the time complexity of this problem okay so uh, basically what we are doing here say this is my linked list right it contain these nodes and this is 6 right so what I'm doing here I'm iterating over this complete list right and I'm you know incrementing my count every time so we have seen that I have a temp uh, pointer here which is pointing to the first node and with the help of this temp pointer I'm iterating over this complete list so to generalize if I'll say that this uh, list has n number of nodes okay it has n nodes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and n number of nodes so what will happen I am going over one by one I am going over all the n nodes right so basically uh, I am going over n nodes so the time complexity will be order of n right so this will be my time complexity for both iterative and recursive solution because I am uh, iterating over the uh, complete list right I am iterating over the complete nodes all the nodes right so O of n is my time complexity right so I hope this is clear to you thank you